In this video, we're going to look at what actually works. We've seen that fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol are not really associated with heart disease. We've been aiming at them for 50 years. So what really works? If it's not fat, and saturated fat, and cholesterol, what is it that we can do to help lower our risk of heart disease? There are many, many foods out there, but I'm going to focus in on just three studies. Um, these studies look at a portfolio of foods. They looked at four different foods. Plant sterols, you find those in things like um, Benicol, take control margarines, or a variety of other things. They're naturally found, but not in high enough levels, so you have to be supplemented. It's in a variety of other kinds of foods. So plant sterols. Second thing is soy protein, um, and this is 21 grams. So that's a little less than an ounce. We're not talking about much. Um, a less than an ounce per 1,000 calories, so it might be two ounces a day. Almonds, 14 grams. That's a half of an ounce. So if you eat 2,000 calories a day, this would be equivalent to about an ounce of almonds. And then viscous fiber, um, 10 grams. And so we're talking about a uh, tablespoon or so of um, soluble fiber, which would be psyllium seed or, or barley uh, or oats, the viscous fiber from all of those. The place you get the most of it is psyllium seed in the form of some kind of a drink like Metamucil. And so these four foods. Um, many studies show that individual foods help reduce risk of heart disease. They lower LDL cholesterol. This group at the University of Toronto, David Jenkins, uh, John Seven Piper, uh, the variety of people up there that have been working on this for a decade and a half. What happens if you add four of these foods that seem to be beneficial and use them together in a diet? What happens? Uh, what this shows is that the percentage change from baseline, here's where people started. Percentage change, you put them on a low fat, low saturated fat, low cholesterol diet and decreased about 5%, a little bit more. That's what we've been telling people to do forever. Eat a low fat, low saturated fat, low cholesterol, uh, low sodium, uh, national cholesterol education program lowering diet. We've been doing that for 50 years. We've done this to people. We put them on it. Oops, it didn't work. Give them a statin. Oops, it didn't work. Give them a statin. But look what happens when you add these four foods. Look at how fast um, LDL, HDL ratio drops. It drops in one week down about 20%. Uh, two weeks, it's down to about 25%. Three, four weeks, it stays at 25%. <laughs> we have known this for a decade that these four foods, just think of it if you ate more healthy foods than just these four. But then they quit eating them and then the cholesterol level started to return back to baseline. Well, that's amazing. That's amazing that four foods can be this effective compared to the low fat, low saturated fat, low cholesterol diet. That diet did do something. It did very little. And we've been trusting in and hoping that that would, would be the cure-all for heart disease, and it has failed miserably. Second of three studies. This is, again, looking at this same diet with these four components, David Jenkins, Cyril Kendall, the variety of uh, folks that are up there at the University of Toronto. Now, these people are not unknown. If you've ever heard of the term glycemic index, where you start looking at how fast blood sugar rises after you eat something, the glycemic index, uh, that was a term coined by David Jenkins, the first author on this paper. So they've been doing this for a very long time. When you test glycemic index of foods, they're one of the main places in the world where you test foods. So they've been looking at this a long, long time. Uh, this study is looking at the same low-fat, low-saturated fat, low-cholesterol diet, and it reduced from baseline LDL about 15%. But what we're interested in, really, is the HDL-LDL ratio. That ratio just dropped, again, by about 5%. This is the very low-saturated fat, low-cholesterol, low-fat diet reduced it by 5%. And then the uh, four foods in two weeks, it, it dropped at 30%. No, that's incredible. And then at four weeks, it maintained it, 30% drop. Now, my question is, why have these things, these foods, not gotten into our heart health programs in this country, in the United States? They have in Canada. Canada's most recent um, guideline put out by the Canadian Heart and Stroke Foundation uh, take all these things in consideration and say, what's the answer to reducing heart disease risk? Whole foods, a variety of whole foods, this shows it again. Well, but how does this compare to a statin drug? 
another study done by David Jenkins, Sarah Kendall, and their group uh, up in Toronto, and this is what they found. Once again, they put people on the low-fat, low-saturated fat, low-cholesterol diet, and it decreased in two weeks, uh, from two weeks to four weeks. It decreased it from about 7 down to maybe 10%. And then you look at the statin drug and this portfolio diet, and they're very, very similar. Um, so this four-food portfolio worked about the same as 20 milligrams of lobostatin, a first-line statin drug. Uh, so are we saying here to quit statins? That's not the point at all. The point is, is that you can not go on a low-fat, low-saturated fat, low-cholesterol diet, but go on a whole food diet that has these four components and many more, and you can get a similar effect to a statin drug.